we're going to look at now in this video is how you can create flows of sequential journeys. So for instance, you might have to execute one journey, which could place an order or test placing an order, and only then can you run a second journey. Now you might want to not want to have those in one end-to-end -end journey, but have them separately, but be able to execute them in flows. Now to do that, Virtua ha Virtuoso has what we call our flows app. And you need to install this if not already done so on your organization. So if you go to organization and note that you will need to have owner rights or you'll have to ask the administrator of your organization to do this. You come into apps, look for the flows app, which you can then install. And in doing so, you can apply this to an existing member. So they're the person who will be the owner of the app. So I'm going to apply it to this user here. When I install that, Basically that now installs the Flows app. So when I come into my project and click the three dots next to project dashboard, I can say I now can manage flows. Now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna set up two journeys because the important thing with flows is you can also persist data between journeys using the flows. So in one system I could place an order, store the order ID in a parameter. Then when I execute the second journey in the flow, I can pass that data across those two journeys in the flow. So let's go ahead and call this our flows goal. And we're gonna do it against the rocket shop.virtuoso.qa. And we're just gonna write two very simple journeys here. So we've got the first one running where it has, firstly, we're gonna give this a unique name. So we're gonna call this our flows journey one. Okay, so we're just gonna write a simple journey here and I'm gonna put in a second checkpoint, which is to look for the product. And then what I'm gonna do is just wait for the Rocket Shop merchandise. And then what I wanna do is store the Comet integration into a product name. And the reason for doing that is what I'm gonna do in my second journey, I wanna use that product name to look for it and then add to the bag. So we've created our flows one journey. So now let's create a second journey, which I could do from the first checkpoint by creating a new journey from here. And let's call this flows journey two. And in here, what I'm gonna do, when we run that, we're gonna come in and say, this is look for product. And so then we're gonna come in and we're going to wait for the Rocket Shop merchandise again. And then we're going to look for product name and save that. Now, when this happens, we won't be able to find it because product name hasn't been defined yet, but that's okay. Because what I can do now I'm going to set this to publish this and I'm going to go back to my first journey. And what I can see is that the product name is defined here. So what I want to do is be able to run this test, capture the product name and then run the second journey and persist that product name into my second journey. So to do that, we can come back to the project dashboard, click on the three dots and manage flows, add a new flow. And what we're going to do here is say, basically we can set up conditions. So if, a journey is executed with the journey name of flows journey one. So basically if I run that test and this executes and it needs to be successfully executes, then I'm gonna add an action, which is to execute another journey. And so for this, I do need to put in the target goal to tell it where the journey I wanna execute is in. So it's the flows goal. And this is gonna be my flows journey two. Now note that I'm choosing to do journeys, but I could also do a goal, a plan. I could then put in a wait, for instance, uh, if I have to execute a journey, which then there's some sort of batch job that I need to wait for it to complete before then I you know, run another test that enables you to do that. Or some integrations here as well. So there are different parameters as well as uh, different options based on those. But here I'm just gonna run one journey, execute it, and then once that completes, automatically execute uh, my next journey. And so now that's it. I can now save on that. And all I have to do now, come into my flows goal. And literally when I execute now my first flows journey one, so press play on this and go to the project activity, I'll see the flows goal is running. And if I come in, I can see that that's going through and it's running through the tests. So we're just waiting. And there we go. It's passed. And if I come back, I can see that now automatically my next flows goal is running and that's been run by the user that owns the Flows app. If I come in, you can see it's tagged with executed by Flow. 
and you can see here that the test is run but importantly now the product name is defined where it's looking for the comet integration based on the data that's been persisted from the first journey. So that's just a great way about how you can build flows up to be able to sequentially run uh, tests uh, including persisting data across those. So uh, again, could be something like run one drone to create an e-commerce order with an order ID, store that in a parameter, then based on that completing, run a second one, which is order management using that persisted order ID. That's the Flows app.